you know what? Yo, Charleston, check it out. We gonna speak on Charleston right real quick. What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. Man, the king of plays did it again. I mean, this man did a whole weekend where he was just handing out L's and I don't get it. Now, these L's that he was handing out, I'm gonna be real with y'all. These people were gladly taking these L's in exchange for something else. But what we talking about? What we talking about? Charleston White, man, I can't lie. This man was the talk of the internet, at least in the black sector, for the whole weekend. And this man really did a play on these gangsters, but he got it to the point where I'm thinking that these gangsters are in on the play, whether they know it or not, but we gonna get to that. First of all, the fight that was supposed to go down uh, with Charleston White, it didn't even go down because of this. Charleston White Pepper sprayed him. Yeah, the man pepper sprayed this guy during the, pre the press conference. I don't know if it was the weigh-in, I don't know if it was an official fight, I know it was the weigh-in, but whatever the case, they lost the license for the fight because he pepper sprayed. Yeah, they disqualified me, man, the commission. The boxing commission, it wasn't the venue. Because you maced the nigga. Yeah, yeah, at the venue yesterday, man. They, yeah, the commission, they had the commission in the crowd. There. Now, this is why I call Charleston White the king of plays, is that how long has this man been going viral for this? It's been a couple years now. I mean, he didn't uh, make Soldier Boy whole crew. So, you know he got the mace. You know he gonna use it. The man literally had the mace in his hand when he went on stage for, for the press conference and he sprayed the dude. That he literally has it in his hand. So that tells me Neither they came up with an agreement that that's what he was going to do or the other guy had to know that he was going to get pepper spray. You see him there with the pepper spray, so we pepper spray the guy. People are talking about uh, Charleston messed up the bag or whatever. He'll get it in many other ways. One thing that he understands, that I'm getting to understand as a content creator, even watching him, the clout is more important. It's all about how you want to go about it. Now, see, here's the thing. Some of these might not be plays, but I can't, I really want to believe that people are not that dumb, all right? When his opponent ran up on him outside of the ring, look what happened. Got his head bust wide open but this is the thing that's just so weird to me it just come off as the wwe charleston white is smiling the whole time man. the whole time when he bust this dude head wide open but that's a real gash and that's real blood i just don't want to believe that these dudes is that dumb but then again man i don't know i do youtube part-time Maybe the money is that great where cats is willing to get their head bust wide open for that clout just to get some traction online. I mean, I guess that's the world that we in. I, not me, I ain't about to let nobody bust my head wide open for no clout. Now, to that whole point, the clout. That's what all of this is about. Wait till you see the moves that he had done this weekend. Yeah, I came out of town to the West Coast by myself, nigga. No security. No security, nigga. No security.
So the fight didn't go down, but then check this out. Later on that day, uh, a group of some gang members from, I believe it's Oklahoma, uh, pressed Charleston White and Dewberry. You know, y'all know that's his boy Dewberry. He pre pressed both, just two of them. There's a whole group of these people. Look what happened. What's going on? What's going on? You heard what I said? Keep his name out your mouth. Who's name? Nip. Yeah, nigga. So what? Do something about it. Oh, no. Do something about it. Oh, 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 you, you know, you want to know why I say there's no excuse for this. This fight has been promoted for a couple months now. If you really wanted to get Charleston White, all right, you had a couple months to prepare for this. But one of the things about Charleston White is that he's the most powerful in open and carry states. Uh, but he ain't even show no, no blickies. He ain't even show no blickies this weekend. And I believe Arizona, I know Arizona, uh, is a right to care. I believe they're a right to carry state, but even if they're not, they have way uh, more comparable gun laws than they got in New York state and in California. But that didn't matter. These guys walk right into the play, right into the play, but that's not even it. Apparently these were sauce Walker's friends, right? Look at what he said on his IG live. I love y'all, man. We had an incredible weekend. Incredible night last night. The fight was great. We met with the knockout. We gonna speak on Charleston White real quick. We we'll clear the air to y'all the real first and foremost. Y'all better leave that nigga Charleston White alone, man. Stop with that man Batman. Stop with the Joker. That nigga Batman and Joker put together. That's the baddest man I heard. Of. I like him. I said, hey man, Lee. Hey man, you gotta love Charleston. And I'm gonna say this too. For every street. Every gangster in the world, bro. If you see ever see Charleston White and you actually get into it with this man, bro, you are a peon, bro. You is not no real gangster if you getting into it with a shit like this and you know what's that. But what I will tell y'all is this: I did come in the building with some of my good friends. So you know what this turns into, right? Sauce Walker's homies got a hold of the IG Live, of course. You know they all the same click or whatever, and now. They have to do, well, I don't know what they call it in, in, in uh, blood, gangs, but I'm well familiar with the Crips. I'm not a gang member. I did know Nipsey, I do know Big U. And I know with the Crips, they got this thing called the Thunderdome when it's a disagreement. The Thunderdome, that's what the whole California love thing was about. It's a Thunderdome, right? The Thunderdome, that's when two gang members settle their differences in a one-on-one -on -one squad. So these dudes met up with Sauce Walker from the same crew, from him saying that they peons for getting pepper spray, these guys met up and apparently squabbled. Everything that happened yesterday was a big, and that was on me, you know what I'm saying? It was on me, and only me, that was not, had handled, nothing to do with TSF. There was Star Life that did all that. Nobody sprayed Sauce Walker, nobody sprayed TSF. TSF was in the building, that was my homies that came with me. Y'all gotta remember, I, I'm new to this. I'm, I'm new to this industry. I'm just used to just, just, just running, running, doing shit myself. And so I did something that 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 that, that was almost detrimental to the business. That's giving me a chance. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just putting it out there because I see all these stories. You got soft walking name in it that had nothing to do with walk. That was all star life. And my homies, not TSF. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be man enough to say I messed up. We came back to my mansion in Vegas. We ran some fakes, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's how it works when it's brotherhood. You do something bad, ran them fakes, ran them fakes, ran them fakes, ran them fakes. Squabble factors for sure. Squabble factors, ran them fakes, ran them fakes. If you from Oklahoma, you know how to start get down. So I was with all that. My brothers right here, I messed up, but I promise you, this is not a representation of Oklahoma. Don't put this on nobody but me. Starlight messed up, but I promise you I'm gonna get this right. And, and like I said, won't happen again, but will happen again. Motherfucking album coming out soon, nigga. Yeah, my nigga yeah. got his respect back, nigga. Yeah. From the city, nigga, he handled his business like a man, nigga. Yeah. Look at each other eye to eye, fist to fist, nigga. I respect. Yeah.
At the end of the day, nigga, we still got the Splash Bros. Am coming. And like a nigga said, I ain't that nigga, uh, uh, motherfucker, me, Air Grinch, Mace, uh, none of that Brand shit. Brand 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 nigga, Mace, me, touch me, whatever, I'm going to jail or some death, whatever it is. Who we? We was dead to whoop ass. Yeah, we the squabble factory, nigga. We was dead to whoop ass. nigga, Mace, me, and I ain't in jail. We was in the we was in the building to kick some ass, man. Business. Now, of course, they did the right thing uh, with the whole gang thing. They're supposed to keep that in house, uh, so you don't see them actually fighting. I don't believe they fight in fought anyway. I think what this all was was them coming together to get clout off of Charleston White. Yeah, they coming for that clout. That's what it's about online. They coming for that car. They over there promoting the album. At the end of the day, nigga, we still got the Splash Bros. album coming. I don't want to listen to no music from them dudes that's been pepper sprayed by an old guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, 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 I don't care about that album. But uh, Charleston White, one of his longtime rivals, even came to show some love. Look at what WAC 100 had to say about this weekend of events surrounding Charleston White. I got to give credit where credit's due. This just real shit. Cause they do this shit to me. If they remotely think something happened to me, they'll take it, amplify it, lie about the shit. But if some I did is in my favor, everybody hush hush. They don't say nothing about it. I don't particularly f with Charleston White. Right? Um but I understand it. Um, but this weekend in Arizona, every street that approached him, the ones that approached, I'm not going to say if you was there, because some of y'all feel like I feel. It's only one thing you could do with it, like Charleston White, if that's what you want, if it's that serious to you. Other than that, uh, Come by your business. But all you that approach Charleston White, especially that bust ass nigga was fighting, God Corleone, I think that's your name. They go to the standoff, dude pushing. You violate Charleston. He maced. Okay. So the boxer, your whole team that was with you, busters. Marks. They supposed to took off. Somebody going to get through the maze. Fire your whole team. I wouldn't give them a dime. Them niggas is hoes. Another situation, somebody was pressing him about what he was saying. And then right there, it's him and another. He didn't run. Then the boxer, here he come again. And he lying. You got Coley on, nigga, why you lying? You only talking about he was hiding behind his girlfriend. No, he wasn't. He was leaning up on the wall looking at his phone, nigga. You walked up and tried some funny and he bopped your ass in the head with the handle of the knife. Split your ass open and then bop, let that blade out. Nigga had what we call a bone crusher. Nigga had a penitentiary bone crusher on it. Charleston White up three. The streets, zero. You know what? Yo, Charleston, check it out. I interviewed 6 9 Now I want to interview you. We could do it at no jumper. Here go the terms. We going to have a conversation. Because one thing about it, I'm a wide baby. Y65395. I was there when they introduced pepper spray to us. Curb and all that. We eat that shit up. Right? And I don't even want you to be in a position where you feel like you got to use any of that. I'm a different type of guy. Right? We should be able, no matter what the, you know, um, conversation is, to have a conversation. So man to man. Right? If you ain't scared of this conversation, hit old Laura up at No Jumper. And let's arrange to have a sit down. That's what did it for me, personally. That's what did it for me, was WAC 100. Come on, man. WAC 100, 50 years old. Uh, he gossips all over the internet. Um, 
which all leads to one thing that he's looking for and that he wants. You got it. Clout. They all want the clout. And I'm going to say in this sector right now, Charleston White is, is he on top. He got his enemies even going along with this to get the clout. What Chris Rock say, man, it's the new drug. It's the new drug. Better than crack, better than coke, better than meth. All them drugs I ain't really mess with. But clout is a new drug that everybody wants. But you let me know in the comment section. That's my whole opinion on thing. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section. I look, these are plays to me. I don't know how long some of y'all been following Charleston White. These all look like plays to me. You let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Well, anyways, you know how we like to end our videos over here at Moxie Approved, right? With that water. I see y'all here next time on Moxie Approved. Hit that like button and apply pressure to that subscribe button.